What is up YouTube? That's it here and today I'm super excited to be bringing you guys another set of VGC 2021 Series 11 action. We're using the big crazy Ray Quasar today. You know, we recently used a little bit of Golduck to be able to turn off weather and I was like, it's kind of nice turning off the weather. I kind of feel like I have so much more control. Let's take it to the next level and see if Rayquaza can hang. I think Rayquaza is actually a pretty underrated mon in terms of like restricteds in the Series 11 format. Dynamax makes it really, really good. It gets the biggest airstream in the game, basically. Big stab, Dragon's Ascent boosted airstream. Really, really cool mon. You can see the team here is so aggressive. Oh my gosh. We have three Pokemon that have uh, the abilities of Defiant and Competitive Shared. We have Defiant Braviary, we have Defiant Thunderous, and we have Competitive Melodic. And I want to challenge you guys with a little bit of a game, saying how many times do you think we will get Competitive and Defiant procs off this game? I have not played the games yet, right? So I have no idea. But, you know, anytime your opponent leads with like an Incineroar or a Landorus or any Intimidate user, and we get a Defiant proc, like, if we get one of those, usually that's enough to win the game. And so, uh... Let me know how many you think we're going to get before watching all these games. Just leave a comment right now saying, you know, 15, 28, 32, 69. That'd be a pretty nice, that'd be a pretty nice number of competitive fine procs to get. So let me know how many you think we're going to get. I think this team's actually just like really fun. I threw it together super quick. Um, and I just said like, all right, I want to use Ray, but I don't want to lose to Intimidate. What do I do, right? And so I, I also need a fire type to check Zacian. So that's where the Cinderace comes from. But let me know what you think about this team. Let me know how many procs you think we're going to get. And let's hop right on into the games. Here we go. All right, very first game going up against Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider, huh? And <laughs> you see that Lando? <laughs> Guys, how many procs is he gonna give us? Um, I think Braviary is a really, really cool option. Um, I, feel, I feel people don't really respect Braviary as much as they should. They're gonna have to go with Rotom to like mess with us. And I think if they wanna go like heavy into Rotom, we can be a little bit of a bully. Maybe because they'd have to go for like a max lightning into this thing um, And it won't even kill us. So let's let's think about what we realistically want to do because we have to we have to get that Rotom off the board I think I'm gonna go like Braviary Urshifu because we can just also if they lead wrong and they don't renew it We just wicked blow their Cali and we're fine I think Cinderace is a good max option because it gets the uh, you know, the max darkness if we need it It's also just pretty decent versus Rotom and are we just gonna not bring Ray? <laughs> now I'll still bring it um, Yeah, they can totally tail on us with the whims and we can trade tailwinds with Braviary that's also like a decent option because Kali is still going to really struggle with Urshi. So I think this is overall a pretty decent situation considering we're running like one of the most aggressive teams I think I've ever seen in my life. I think we're going to be okay. And uh, we always got to have at least like one defiant and or competitive mon on the board. Just because like if we get one and we can run away with it, the game's like absolutely over good. An airstream, give it a tailwind from something like Braviary, the game's pretty much over. So let's see what we got with Glass Trait Indy, huh? All right, so you're just going to max the horse, huh? I wonder if I should even set Tailwind here. Because it would make it so my mom's in the back, like, outspeed the things that they need to. I think I will set the Tailwind, because it just makes Ray, like, absolutely dumpster Cali. So I think I'm going to set Tailwind, lose the Braviary, trade with the Indy. If they Hailstorm me, we're fine. So Tailwind's up. And, uh... Vickedest blow the world's ever seen. I dare you to protect Chief. See what happens. You know, if that was a Cali Ice, you'd have a nice trick room, but <laughs> it's not. If they if they had a Cali Ice instead of Cali S, um, I would probably love like Melodic and went for like more um, like Dragon Tail esque plays to stop like TR because we can KO the entity. You know, maybe they're Sash, maybe they're not. But like Dragon Tail can go into that slot if they're trying to set TR. I don't. I do not care if you want to waste your max turns and hit my Braviary. Like Braviary is doing. It's, it's doing what it needs to do to succeed right now. And then I wonder what they're going to send out after I get my Tailwind up. Like, would you send out your Cali? Because I kind of want to go, like, protect. I don't, I'm not going to say protect, but, like, if I protect it and let them get the first tick of Hail, if they are hailing my Braviary, that would break Sash. I want to see where the Sash is. If it's on the Entity or the Cali, it's, it's really, really important. Follow me is absolutely amazing. We love to see this. So let's go. DPS. Deeps. Deeps PS. us. G. No sash. See, like that's that's a little bit scary. That's a little bit scary. It means it has to be on the Cali Ice, probably. Sorry, Cali, Cali S. Same thing. They're all the same thing. Big tail one though. We're gonna take these. We're gonna lose one of our mons. Um, I don't know if I brought Cinderace or Melodic. Melodic might be a little bit better here. Hailstorm, perfect. I, I I'm fine with this. Um, they're thinking yes, and I broke the sash on the Urshifu, and it's just not sash. It's El Scarpo. So even if you have like a Scarf Shadow Rider, I'm still gonna outspeed with my Scarf and Tailwind. So we're in a good spot. 
If I have Cinderace, it's right here. I don't remember if I have Cinderace or... Because um, then I have Ray. I don't remember if I have Cinderace or Melodic. And so... I'd like to send out Cinderace. Yeah, I think Cinderace is just the right play. Just G-Max Fireball, the Glass Trier. They don't have any boosts yet. And we can also... We can't Sucker Punch, but we can Max Darkness if we needed to. We can even Airstream, making them expect us to be like a Fire-type. Yes, there's the Rotom. Um... Do I care about this? If I go into the glass chair, we're just going to proc policy. We'll just be proccing policy right now. I kind of want to just Nuck into the Rotom to give myself a plus one, because they won't be able to kill me that way either. Yeah, I like that. Nuck plus Wicked Blow should be able to take out this Rotom. I want to see if they ally switch too. If they ally switch, they're not, you know, they're not hitting me in the face, so that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We still got big Ray in the back too. We just want to wait out these hail, hail turns so we can use Ray with its Sash correct. Look at that big Dynamax animation. Take a nice little, oh, relaxing stretch. Guys, be sure to work on your posture whenever a Dynamax happens. You can take that five to 10 seconds to really pull your shoulders back, set up with confidence. It's the best part about Dynamax, that it helps you work on our posture. All right, so we got big Cinderace. It doesn't really matter to me if you protect. I'm getting my boost either way. Um, and Wicked Blow, cool. So either, there's two things that are gonna happen here. I don't think this one shot your road time. I think it's gonna get it low. And that, uh, unless you're Citrus, which you totally could be, I have no problem with Citrus, this Nuck should be able to take it out, because it's going to be stabbed from the Libero boost. And this is going to give me a plus one, so next turn when we just double into that Cali, we're going to be absolutely fine. And I, I, if I were them, I'd think about Quaking Cinderace. You, you might actually go for like a really raw like Steel Spike read into Urshifu, and rely on me procking your policy to get the KO, but I, I just don't see I just don't see you getting it. Nuck, so Nuck's fine into Urshi, right? It's a good play. That's yeah, a good play. Gives you a KO, gives you a big boost. Um, but I did get a boost on my Cinderace, and that's like the real scary thing, in my opinion, for you. For you, my friend, because like I think a plus one Cinderace can really do a lot here. It can do a lot. Plus one Nucked Cinderace. We still have a turn of Tailwind left. Part of me kind of wants to turn into a Dark type after they send the Kali out. Ooh, that'd be kind of nice. There's the Cali. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. Because it's just going to Astral, right? It's just going to Astral. Kind of want to turn into like a Flying type too. I kind of want to just double into the Cali slot. That Cali's a plus three. It can actually just like KO my Cinderace right now. So we, we have to kill it, I guess. Yeah, so that's going to be something like G-Max Fireball into that slot. And I, I know that this Cali over here is going to be Sash, but this will clock Sash and then maybe... Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I think this is the right play, and if it if it ends up backfiring, it ends up backfiring. And let's go. Part of me wishes I kind of doubled into the Cali slot, because then they wouldn't be able to... Ah, yeah, see... I could have doubled into one of these and probably had a better play. There's the policy. It's a plus five. Let's see. You can only hit one. And if this Kali isn't sashed, we're fine. But I think it's going to be sashed. Let's go, Ray. Let's go, Ray. Oh, not even sashed. It's just dummy thick. It's just chilling out here. Holy crap. That's, that's what loses us the game, I think. Yeah, sash is going to get clocked there. They're going to go into our Cinderace. And then we're going to take a uh, sash tick. Oh, they're orb. Oh! <gasps> okay. All right, if they hit the ray, we win. They were orbed. Hailstorm. See, I thought about turning myself into a flying type. I really did. We won. I think we win. Um, I think that's a win. Okay. Yo. <laughs> we take those. <laughs> Shoutouts to Life Orb. Yeah, I probably should have doubled into the Cali, but I didn't want to get, like, protect baited and lost a mom for it, which would have happened if they protected. Um, I just have to hit a move, but I've, I've maxed. Yeah, I still have maxed. Your max ended a turn early, whereas my max lives forever. Fireball again. Feels great using Cinderace. Holy moly, yeah, the life orb. That was kind of funny. But yeah, I could have went like Darkness and Dragon's Ascent into the into the ray. Sorry, it, it, sorry, into the Kali Ice. But if they targeted correctly and went for a protect bait, that would have been really bad. So I'm fine with my life choices. I'm fine with them. And I'll take the wins. Feels great. I'm, I'm super lucky that that Cali was like a life worked. 
Oh, yeah, you'll love to see it. You'll love to see Our it. Our quest continues for never-ending, defiant, and competitive procs. And we're going up against a team that, like, I'm not going to lie, that looks like a rental team that I made in Series 8, maybe? I, I, I've used all those Pokemon on a team before. <laughs> so it's like, I'm, I'm very scared of this. But, yeah, let's see. What do I actually want to do here? Coco Raichu's really, really strong. Is, like, really strong. Urshibu can be better than people think against it. Um, I don't hate Moon Thundee either, but it's going to be really hard for me to keep up with like the pressure that this team actually brings. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to go Thundee though. Um, Thundee's going to be able to outspeed things like Nine Tails and just be a big bully. I guess I could also use Ray to make it so they can't like Aurora Veil things. Aurora Veil. Actually, we're going to go Ray and Thundee, and then bring Urshi in the back. I think it's a great mon, and probably just Cinderace here. Um, after an Airstream, Cinderace can check a lot of those things. I guess Melodic could also be seen as okay, but uh, I'm gonna bring the Cinderace, and we just don't have good answers for Zacian until we get some speed control. Yeah, let's see though. Um, fake outs on that side, terrain control, speed control. Like I said, I've used all those mods on a team before, and uh, has weather control. That's a lot of cool stuff on that team. It's, it's very, very one dimensional, and it's really gonna, it's really gonna have to. How would I even word this? Whoever they max is super important, and it's probably Moltres. Whenever you're fighting against Zacian teams, the thing is they. They can't max their their restricted mods. They have to max something else. So the way to beat Zacian teams is to be an absolutely massive bully against them. It's to be a big bully. And I know no other way of being a bigger bully than to bait my opponent into playing incorrectly. Now, how am I going to do that here? I would have liked some speed control. I don't know if I'll be able to get away with it. I think I'm going to go Airstream. No, that's not right, is it? I want to be able to kill that Raichu. I think I'm just going to protect this first turn, because I, I wouldn't be surprised if they just doubled into my Thundee, but really respecting me to max Thundee. And I'm going to try and steal an Earthquake into this uh, Coco Raichu slot. If they want to go D-Gleam fake out my Ray, they can be good players. They can be absolutely massive players right now. But a lot of people would probably look at this as like, a Rising Voltage. You see, good good players respect the Thundee, right? And D-Gleam, we got Sash, right? So we're totally fine. That was a cheeky play that I did here. I'm surprised they didn't max. I'm really trying to see who they would max with. What if I was Policy Ray? Ooh, Orb Coco. Not bad. It's probably going to be Sash on the right then. And we're just going to E-speed that slot. And we're probably going to max our Thundee next turn just to steal an Airstream boost. Oh, we just... The right you going down is huge. It was probably Specs then. That's absolutely amazing for me. Thank you so much, opponent. Coco Raichu. Never even saw the Earthquake coming. Yo, Rayquaza big busted right now. When you send out Nine Tails, I'm a Ray. It's like, um, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you right now, this is not the way to do it. And uh, <laughs> go for it, Chief. If we get our Airstream up, we're going to be fine. So we're just going to E-speed into the Coco. And we're just going to Airstream out this Nine Tails. Actually, Coco, we'll, we'll actually ignore the Coco. We're going to Airstream the Nine Tails. And we're going to E-speed the Nine Tails to break Sash. And Coco will tick out from Life Orb Hail. And then we'll lose our Ray. And we'll lose our Ray. It's like that. It's like that one meme from Despicable Me. It's like lose our Ray and then we'll lose our Ray. It's like I, I still think that's fine though, because like we're gonna get a double KO this turn, and our Thunny's not gonna have to deal with anything that the the Nine Tails is working with. The Coco might even just protect or something because they know we have E speed. But yeah, Thunny's still a really really good mon, and I really don't want. Um, I don't want to get Blizzarded. I know that there's an Airlock and they have to double hit them, but I don't want to deal with that. And if the Ninetales protects like a good player, they still lose potential Sash, which means I just double into it next turn. And so remember what I talked about. Um, you really got to keep your opponent on the on the lower end here of like, they can't max their Sashian. They, I'm forcing them to max probably a Ninetales, which I'm not going to lie, they're probably not the happiest camper about. I, I wouldn't be happiest camper about this. I really like what I'm doing here, doubling the Ninetales too. Like we, we knew they weren't going to max Coco. They can't max Raichu, they can't max Zashian. They have to max here. So throwing an E-Speed plus a Life Orb boosted Airstream, that's a lot. Like that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. D-Gleam again, cool. Damn, we're still at like no competitive Defiant procs. I was like, bro, if you want to like Electro Web me, <laughs> I'll appreciate you on time. So he's going to take up from Hail. And the big Airstream, and now the Hail is actually going to work. Right? The hail's gonna work. That's a thick nine tails. Holy thick nine tails. Am I using the right thunderous? I might not be. Bro, I'm not I don't think I'm using the right thunderous. I don't I don't think I'm using the right one. I think this is like a vested thunder but that's like no attack. Crap, that's gonna lose me the game. That will that will probably lose me this game. 
I need it to not lose something. Um, I'm gonna check my Thunder UV spread. If I'm just 252, and I'm, I'm fine with that. That's just probably a really, really thick nine tails. Zashian's gonna come out here, and that's the problem. I don't need Max to be able to deal with that. I have very limited speed control. Let me see this Thunder UV spread. It's possible. I, I mess up sometimes. Picked the wrong one. No, it's full attack. That's just the thick ass nine tails, and that's fine. I'm totally fine with that happening the way it did. Um, Urshu's still gonna be faster than Zashian, but we have to spend our time getting off this nine tails, which is gonna be lamer than I want to do. I guess we have a Cinderace, which isn't even terrible here. We just have to hit a fire attack, which is also gonna be kinda lame. So we can revenge KO the nine tails. We outspeed it right now. And just go for like a fireball. This is where I wish I had Foyer Blitz. Yeah, close combat should still get the KO there. CC baby. And just go for the power ball. Let's go. These games are like the returns. <laughs> Let's see what they want to do. Max guard nine tails. You can still block it with max guard, but there's no way they would know a reason uh, Scarf Urshi. Scarf Urshi is still super underrated. Such a good mon in this format. All right, all we gotta do is hit a move. Um, I don't think they can one shot or send a race with Zashi and Behemoth Blade. Don't think they can. Um, so we'll see. CC, they're going for it. Oh my gosh, is that a crit on your side too? Is that a crit? Did you crit me? No way. Should I have sucker punched? Oh, it's hard to say. They have a stat drop. If I would have sucker punched there, can I kill? I guess if I crit a close combat, which is not supposed to crit, we can win. Oh, uh, let's go. I guess if I if I had sucker punch damage in there, I think I had it. Oh well. Let's go. Crit. Just me a crit. Whoa! Whoa! Was that a crit? No, we didn't even need it. Wow! Adam and Urshi with the stat drop from Zashian. Wow. Yo, I'm going to calc that. Hold, hold, the, hold the French toast. I'm going to calc it like right now. We have to calc this. I have to, I have to know the calc. All right. I can't lose that KO. That's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug in like Urshi Dark. So we're just going to plug in like Urshi. Level 50. Close combat. We're adamant. Give me one sec, guys. Wow, that was ridiculous. Uh, versus Zashian. I, I don't know if that was like a high roll or like what that was. I know they had a stat drop. I know they had it. Like, I just did not think that would do that much. Alright, so it looks like Zashian with a minus one defense. Oh, we super high rolled that. Calc's in chat right here. Um, they took a, a tick of hail, right? Um, but 37% chance to KO there. Um, if we do like a tick of like hail, uh, so let's just do a tick of hail here. Um... Just put that hail up and see if it does it. Oh, that's so crazy. I'm assuming there's the full sweeper, Zashin, but like that's crazy. I mean, that's just basically just like taking out like that's changing it to you know, like a 40% chance. But still, we take those. We definitely take those all the way to the bank. And I'm still on my quest to get a competitive Defiant proc. Here we go. <sighs> We're not gonna get a chance to get intimidated, but that doesn't mean that we can't get like warm winded or something by that like zard <laughs> so we still have shots to get our uh our procs we always get max striked right let's see what do we want to leave with that's a cool looking team i wonder if it's gonna be like policy like ice shard proc into halucha I'm definitely gonna respect the halucha i think i want to leave with two mons that look like it i mean let's see i think you still go thundy i think thundy urshi is actually gonna be a good lead because you can just dumpster the zard really really hard i also think like being able to set a tailwind could be really good, so I think Braviary in the back is gonna be nice. Ah, Braviary is actually really hard to use here. I think you have to bring Cinderace just because like we need something to trade with Zashian in the back. But we're gonna have to get some speed control from this Thundee. So if they get our Thundee off the board on the first turn, if, like they, you know, go Weavile. If they go Weavile Halucha and self policy block Ice Shard, and like one shot our Thundee with a Rock Fall, we will lose. So just. Keep that in mind. We will we will lose if that happens. I can't believe we used the team with three Defiant slash competitive mons and like didn't really fight any Pokemon that use Intimidate. People don't they don't use the good abilities anymore. Where's all the Landos? Where's all the Incins? It's like a ghost town out here. I don't see it. Kapuriki. All right, so that means that that is a German Tapu Koko because I also have a German Tapu Koko and mine is named Kapuriki. So let's see. 
What do they think they're gonna do here? I guess they could just fake out and dazzling gleam, but then that lets me get an airstream boost, and then I win the game. I'm like that's fine. That's like actually just fine. I, I don't think that that's a problem. So we're gonna airstream. We're just gonna try and U-turn. They, they want to fake out me. They can. They want to Dynamax that Weavile. They'd be Pog Champing it up. Looks like they're not. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, we should be able to get the Kale on the Weavile, or at least Clock Sash to be able to finish it off whenever we feel like it. And then we're gonna be able to live our. Uh, our Thundia plus one, which is really good. So that means when we, we want to bring in our Ray, we can just go like a big Earthquake or something like that. Next to Thundia, it's just going to be a great coverage. Let's go. Fake out the, the Thundia. Cool. You're just going to lose your Weavile. That's nice. This might actually just kill the Weavile and get this redirect into Coco, which would be amazing if it's not sashed. That's that's still fine. <clears throat> so they're going to come in with... Uh, I guess we have to come in with Cinderace now because they're just, they're just going to go for Dazzling. Lead. Cinderace is fine. to switching on this. Passing an airstream to Cinderace is not even bad. It can let us pin Zashian. Is the gleam cool? One mean gleam. Show me that orb damage, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm assuming the sash was on this Weavile, but uh, this is gonna be fine. I think next turn, if we just keep up the airstream pressure, we're gonna be in a great spot. There's not that much they can do about it. Passing an airstream boost to my uh, Cinderace is pretty nutty. It's like Zashian, if they brought out the Zashian, that, that means they'd have to max the Coco. And so they'd probably go for like a protect Zashian play. Um, and if that's the play, I might just double up into the Coco slot. <clears throat> Let's see it. Just like Zashian, and it is what it is. <coughs> Sorry. There's this whole Lucha. All right, so this guy's gonna max for sure. Is that Electric Seeds? Cool, I'm, I'd rather fight that than like something else. Like, we just outspeed him right now. We just go for an airstream into it. And as weird as this sounds, like, do I want to double into that slot? I actually think, like, we just double into it like this. We airstream plus, because we just made more speed. That seems about right. That's a defense boost, but I don't think you need both these. He'd have to go for, like, a protect play and, like, go for, like, a thunderbolt into my cinderace, which shouldn't get the KO at all. Unless he wants to be a rebel and just max this Coco and use Halucha as bait. That'd be funny. What if it's like ally switch Halucha? There's the max. If you lose this Halucha, I feel bad for you, son. I will. Oh, man. Let's go. Rockfall. Ooh. Yeah, you guys say I'm burned. Sorry. <coughs> I, I, just, I just swallowed. <laughs> I can't talk. I swallowed weird. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <clears throat> Never lucky. Yeah, I forgot he had an burden proc. I was too focused on my throat. I was like, I can't cop this, and they'll think I have some sickness. And it's like I have, I have no sickness. I just like swallowed saliva in <laughs> the wrong, <laughs> wrong pipe. <clears throat> Whatever. I'm still gonna win, right? I want to see if that like a electro. <clears throat> Is Nani still alive? Wild Charge. Physical Coco. Not even bad. Takes a lot of recoil there. Takes a lot of recoil. Takes out Cinderace, though. Alright, so... We just come in with the big, big Ray. And we just go for the biggest Earthquake the world's ever seen. Oh, I love this. EQ, EQ, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Show me that Zashi. Show it to me. Show me what you're working with. Oh my goodness, it's Zashian. So we had an airstream pass once. Oh, if we get quick attacked by Zashian, I'll laugh. <laughs> Just quick attacks my Thundee. Bro, don't, I don't even want to will that into existence. I don't even want to will that into existence. Baby, airstream into the slot. And then the EQ. EQ should be able to take out the Koko from here. And we got it. I can't look. The quick attack. I, both those mons, I think, can get quick attack. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Gonna do good chip there, too. Probably puts it within range for the uh, the Earthquake. If not, it's fine. We have an Urshi in the back. We got the horses in the back. Urshi, please, the horse, right? All right. EQ, EQ, baby! Let's go. DPS. Yeah, taking out the Coco, that's great. Doesn't take out the Zashian, but that's totally fine. I think, I think people sleep on Earthquake. You know, we saw it. Oh, did they play up? They just missed. Oh, my gosh. Ray Cray. That's what you get. 
that's what you get. Um, but yeah, we used Earthquake against, like, the Coco Raichu weed as well. Like, Earthquake's super slept on in mons that, like, don't normally carry it. Very, very underrated tech, I would say. And he's like, why isn't this Thunder is ticking out? It's like, the power of Airlock compels us to get these wins. And yeah, we take those wins. That was a fun one. That was a, that was a good one. I almost uh, choked to death trying to keep my composure. You know, but uh, I didn't choke hard enough to lose the game. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you've been enjoying the tail end of Sword and Shield VGC Series 11 content. We're still probably going to make Series 11 content even once the remakes come out. But man, I'm excited for these remakes to come out. I have so many cool teams to show you guys for both singles and VGC. If you guys are excited to see that as well, think about subscribing to the channel, dropping a like, uh, leaving a comment on the video. I'm so sorry for all the people that thought we were going to get like five or six competitive defiant procs. I think we got the big zero. So maybe we have to use this team again. Or maybe, you know, the whole point of the team was like, Lando's really hard for this team to beat. Oh, and Sin is kind of hard for this team to beat. I just don't want them to bring those mons. And so I brought, I brought those three mons to say like, hey, don't even think about bringing those mons. And you know what? It worked out in the end. So yeah, we didn't get any competitive fire procs, but we didn't see any of those mons, which was the whole point of the creative team building exercise. Guys, thank you so much for watching. and Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.